All right, gang, welcome back to another video of UXpreneur where we're going to talk about how to style an embed form that we put into our landing page. That way it looks like what we want it to look like. So I'll see you there. All right. So it probably doesn't look as good as we want it to. You, see, you can see the input field is all the way wide and our items are gray and in there and then the button doesn't look too bad okay if pink is our choice so let's go back let's wind this up a little bit and the thing I want to do is re remove these elements here well I'm gonna pull this over half screen here as far as I can that's all it lets me drop that down okay here we can see our code. Now bear with me. We're going to go low code on this. So it says begin MailChimp signup form here. And then we have a bunch of stuff. Remember this? Asterisk indicates required. Indicates required. I don't actually think I need that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that. Bye bye. And there it goes. Okay. The next piece is this email address. You can barely see it. Let's take a look at our Robinhood landing page real quick. Now here they use a placeholder, enter email address, get early access. So I'm going to come back and do that same thing. So instead of using a label in the input field right here, put a placeholder in here. I think I could just do it like right here. Placeholder equals enter email address. Okay. Now, is, yep, there it is. Enter email address. And instead of subscribe, we're going to say get early access. So now I need this button here. It's called value equals subscribe. Name, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to change too much here. This is our precious button to send the email to MailChimp. What I will do is change the value because that's the, the, the name on the button. You can see because it's camel case. That means the the first letter is big. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to say um, get early access. You can see, boom, there it is. Now our styling is kind of funky. Um, and we can actually come up here to this uh, label here where it says email address, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually going to remove the label. Okay, what if, what if I remove it? Whatever. There we go. Just nice and clean. You got a span for helper text there. I don't really need. Bye bye. Got the input field here. Got this field group. Got a hidden stuff. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and update that now. All right. So now it's over here. And now we're going to style this a little bit. So the way that we can do it is by styling our, our button. So we go to site settings, buttons. And here we have like typography and things. We can change that button here. I think it actually doesn't look too bad. This white input button looks really silly. Let's go to the form fields first. Here we have the label. Here's the field, the background color of the field. Right now it's just inheriting from WordPress. And this is global. It will change everywhere on our website. We may not want that, but essentially we could go background color, click this what is transparent? Yeah, we can actually make it transparent. Right now the background color is white, but we can actually make it transparent. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then the border type is actually solid, as we can see here. And we could go ahead and make it solid. And one, the border radius looks like it's, you know, like three pixels or something. Let's, let's do, uh, see what happens when we do five. Let's go ahead and make it white. All right. And text color, go ahead and make it white. Now we did not change this placeholder text color. 
So what, what we need to do is, is get this next to that on the line. Let's go ahead and, and update those changes. Well, the next thing that we could do, let's go ahead and edit this text area here. What we can do to style this up a little bit, edit that section. We're going to edit this column here. You can see this column width. It's probably 100% right now inside there. If we go to styling, let's go to advanced. There's really no padding in it. We could certainly add some padding in there. That kind of tightens it up a bit. You can see we don't have this on the same line, and we really want it on the same line. I think we're going to have to go into some coding a little bit on this one to get it to behave correctly. So let's go ahead and edit that. Here we have our email input field. And all the way down here, after this clear, we have our button. What if I remove that clear class? What if I come into this input style here? We say something like style equals display in line. Still have this field group here. And then we have our button. I'm tempted to just grab these button and I command cut it and then paste it there next to it. Give it the same styling, which isn't working. So I'll try inline block. I'm just going to have to change the width. Let's do width. Let's go to 70% on that, and let's give this a width of 30%. 1% too many in there, 60. There, now it's on the same line. And so now I can go, start to go up a little bit until we get too far. Yeah, we got this like extra 1% hovering around. So 69% width here, 30% width on the button. Now. You can see there that we have some unique little, what we can do is go to the border radius, border radius, zero, five pixels, five pixels, and zero. And then up here on the border radius, we can go border radius, and we can do five pixels, zero, zero, five pixels and they go clockwise. And so now that made them f flat on each other. So they're pointing towards each other. And the next thing we could do is remove the border here, border, wait, width there, and now it's gone. So now we can bring this over a little bit. And so what I'll do down here is I'll say margin left. Let's go ahead and do negative two pixels. It's one, it's, it's a third, boom, and now it's touching. Here we go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and update that. There we use some inline styling. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. And there you can see. I think we're going to have to go to our uh, padding section here. Right click, edit that column. And let's go ahead and do that EMs. And we can just start with one. Put a little extra space with two EMs. Still really long. I know what we can do. We can go back into here, edit HTML. You see how it has a field group? We can actually style that inline styling and we can give it a width of 100%. Here it looks pretty good, it's responsive for you. But here we need like a max width. So let's do a max width of 600 pixels. The width is already 100% apparently. Okay, you can see it's updated here and that keeps it nice and tight. Interesting, okay. Let me see that real quick. Yeah, just zooming in, you can see it's almost the same height, but it's not. It's an optical illusion or something. So so that's pretty fun for our dark mode sign-up sheet here. You can see they, they, they have a different one. They kept the border radius. They keep it separated. Uh, we did a little bit of styling with CSS. So forgive me for introducing you to code on this one, but now we have it. Here we have styled our button and it looks different on a variety of pages. So that concludes our video on how to style your embed form on your landing page using Elementor and some low code inline styling. So I hope that wasn't too much code for you guys out there. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe and ring the bell notification so you know when next videos are published.
and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.